of mm, Seth Gooby. Let's go! Like, do I need to do much more? I'll say a little bit more. He is an incredible, he's a musician. He's a, a father, a husband, an all around really fucking great guy. And with like, with Fabio style long hair and just a savoir faire about him. So please welcome to the stage, the incredible Seth Gooby. <laughs> Check, perfect. Let's see, stage here, notes. Okay, it's happening. <laughs> Hello, nice to see you. Thanks so much for being here. Wow, it's full. I can't see you, which is great. Hello, 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 hello. hello. I say hello to everybody. It's, it's what I do now. It's middle aging. It's, uh, it's just, it's my thing. Uh, we kind of shimmy through these micro evolutions without even knowing it. Um, I started winking. It's really, it's really weird. Uh, the, the, the candy dish just appeared in my house. I could toss a few uh, Hershey kisses in there and then boom, we wait for guests. Uh, it's awesome. Uh, every year my body decides to have new ailments. Uh, that it's just like how Webster adds uh, words to the dictionary. Uh, the, the 2023 set body deficiencies are skin tags, sun rash, and not being able to swallow rice. <laughs> yeah, it's real. It's real. But the weirdest part, I mean the, the sick, sick stuff, is that I'm suddenly possessed to share my opinion on everything. Uh, like, imagine watching a movie just for the pure joy of it. I, I can't. Uh, I'm, I'm now the human comment card. Uh, they can make Marvel movies about me. Uh, you've seen those Marvel movies? Yeah. yeah. What a waste of time. Oh boy, what are you doing? Uh, movies used to be art, everybody. Ooh, used to be territory. Uh-oh, uh-oh, used to be territory. Suddenly, you're lurking on your town's Facebook page, you're, you're, you're posting minion memes, you're shouting into the void, why is the dump closed? Get, get out of there. Get, get out of there. It's no good. And I get it. No one needs to hear from people like me. The voice of the mid-40s white male, uh, we've, it's been done. We probably never needed to hear about uh, from people like me. So that's why I'm here. I'm evolving. <laughs> I'm, I'm learning. I'm listening. Uh, you paid for this. So I totally feel validated in sharing my opinions with you. So thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, my wife who's in the audience tonight. She encouraged me to do this. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Uh, she's awesome. We're coming up on 12 years uh, married, uh, thriving, which is awesome, right? Uh, yeah, it's, it's great. They say you should never go to bed angry, and I really believe that. She's usually pissed, but other than that, uh, it works. It works. Um, we, grew, we grew up a little differently. Uh, her parents were nudists. Uh, my parents wear clothes, um, so we learn, we learn a lot from each other. Um, she's, she's helped guide me through this kind of brave new world of, of identity and inclusivity and uh, sex positivity. It's awesome. All the stuff that was like shoved into my New England shame closet is just out. And it's like, it's, it's just out and it's got a seat at the table and it's exciting. Uh, like vibrators, I'm talking about vibrators. I mean, they're really having their moment. Me, I'm talking about vibrators. Uh, it's, it's so weird. I mean, men have had the majority and advantages for at least 250,000 years, give or take. Um, but this is the one area I feel like where women really have the upper hand, uh, the finger on the pulse, if you will. And, uh, 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 so, and we're so glad for Helen. She finally got a vibrator. She was in such a selfish relationship. Oh, let's everybody gather around. Let's hear about Helen's multiple orgasms. One, two, three. It's not like that for dudes. It's not like that for dudes. My boy, have a seat. 
there comes a time in every man's life when <laughs> ferocious self-intimacy really just doesn't cut it anymore. <laughs> Here is a flashlight. It's like a flashlight, except you have sex with it. It doesn't work. It's uh, not the same. So I'm an ally. <laughs> I'm an ally. <laughs> so the vibrator, you can come out. The fleshlight goes back into the shame closet, and I'm, and I'm okay with it. It goes in the closet with my dwindling attire. Uh, as we age, uh, we, we tend to, thank you, as we age, we tend to edit. Um, I'm down to, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm two shades away from being the guy at the gym in his comfy jeans. Uh, soon to happen. So right now, it's, it's uh, I wear things to fit, kind of, and I wear uh, things that showcase where I've been recently. Like, uh, I've been to a museum, let me buy a t-shirt. I walked into the comedy show and there's a Couch to Mike t-shirt. I gotta buy one. It just happened. And you should get one, they're pretty sweet. And I did get one, it's, it's cool. Um, and, but at one point, do I become bad for business? Like, I, I wonder, could I be the anti-influencer? <laughs> Dear Mr. Gooby, while we are thrilled you enjoy our brand, we're kindly asking you to limit your association with our products. <laughs> Due to your winking and strange swallowing issue, we feel that our designs are better suited for other customers. Uh, please enjoy this pen instead. Oh, sweet, I'll take a pen. Uh, so I do have a lot of internal monologues lately, like I, I worry about a lot of things and maybe it's the pandemic, it's done a, a, quite a number on all of us. Um, I love birds now, like, that just happened. I, there's a lot of bird lovers out there, I mean I have an app, I have a feeder, I have a bunch of houses, uh, I'm a certified loon a tip. Yeah. No refunds. <laughs> Uh, but not only is looking at birds awesome, uh, so is just staring endlessly out the window. Uh, I mean, there's so much to see and not to see, like the trash truck or maybe the neighbor's lawn is getting a little dry. It's, it's just awesome. And boy, have we learned a lot from this pandemic, huh? No, no, we haven't. That's right. We've learned nothing. We've learned absolutely nothing. So maybe that's it. Maybe that's our common ground. Maybe we're all these kind of confused hunks of bones and meat just bouncing around, hoping something, something sticks. And you're saying to yourself, Seth, that's not right. We're not the same. You don't believe in wild conspiracies. You're incredibly handsome and smart, and yes, you're right. I get it. I take fish oil. <laughs> now, I've never done any research on fish oil. I don't know how fish secrete oil or where the oil comes from. Have I noticed a change? Have I seen this difference? I don't know. But I'm certainly going to tell you that you should probably take fish oil too. So see, we're not that different. So what have we learned today, everybody? Let's evolve. Let's dig into our microevolutions, our aging, uh, our differences. Uh, you know, some people march, they riot, they smash a window, and yeah, do you. Some people go around the globe feeding humans. They're amazing people. I have my opinions. I'm a passive activist. I like to purchase chocolate that donates 5% profit to the rainforest. And good for me. <laughs> I would have chosen 6%. Thank you very much. Everybody.